I'm here at North End Grill in New York City, where some of St. Louis's best and brightest culinarians have gathered together to celebrate the St. Louis culinary scene. Let's explore together. St. Louis has a lot of great chefs and a lot of great restaurants. We do have some James Beard award-winning chefs and some of those who are nominated. So we brought them together as a starter panel to lead the conversation. St. Louis was honestly not known as being a culinary destination. It came this generation of chefs and restaurateurs, uh, Kitty described them as being entrepreneurial. I think that what sparked this was pride in what grows in Missouri and what grows around St. Louis. All these years later, St. Louis is a culinary destination. So every time I go back to St. Louis, there's now five new places I have to try. Not to be nice, but because I need to learn from what St. Louis can give us from a culinary standpoint. And that makes me feel incredibly proud. This was an amazing opportunity today to come to New York City and really just promote all of the wonderful things that are going on in the food scene in St. Louis, from restaurants to artisans, and really just kind of get the word out about St. Louis. We're doing so many really cool and exciting things, and so it's really important to get it out there to the people who matter and who are writing about it to say, hey, look, you know, St. Louis is doing amazing things, and they're producing amazing products. The restaurant scene in St. Louis is great. Lots of camaraderie. It's very competitive, but at the same time, it's all friendly. And lots of collaboration going on. Lots of good ideas being passed around. I think one of the uh, things the rest of the world needs to learn is how amazing St. Louis is in so many regards with the beer and food world, uh, with our James Beard chefs and so many amazing restaurants that are really high caliber anywhere on the planet. We are in a mecca of beautiful farmland with the access to farmers and everything grown around there. You can eat very locally in the St. Louis region. I think our produce is, is unrivaled. I think you can put it up against just about anything. And as much as the, the food scene has evolved, I think farmers have kind of taken that lead and said, hey, you know, let's stop planting X, Y, and Z and let's start listening to our restaurants. It's that relationship between what's coming out of the land and how it's transported to the restaurants, you know, how minimally we change it when it gets there and then it gets to a customer. And it's a beautiful thing when a lot of that stays within a hundred mile radius. What makes St. Louis unique is it's got such a big variety. Like today we saw, you know, the usage of paddlefish in our dish. And who would think paddlefish roll in, in Missouri? You know, and that's in Gasconade County, which you're less than 80 miles away, and you've got paddlefish row coming out of the river. There are farmers out there making cheese. You know, there's incredible dairies. I mean, I think it's a city that really comes together and tries to promote itself. So either promoting themselves as a restaurant or their restaurant next door, or the farmer that they're getting everything from. Everybody like comes together and like really tries to, to emphasize that. I think in a lot of big cities these days, people are kind of scared to take chances. The competition is cutthroat, and so there, there's no room for a couple of mistakes. But I think in, in St. Louis, people feel like they have a little more room to push, and I think that's where you get really fun, unique, exciting restaurants, and I think that's what you're seeing there right now.